convert the point negative two comma negative one comma five to spherical coordinates. Because the given point has Cartesian coordinates or rectangular coordinates, we know x equals negative two, y equals negative one, and z equals five. To find the spherical coordinates, we we'll need to find rho comma theta comma phi using our formulas here below. But for a quick review, rho is the distance between the point and the origin, this distance here. Theta is the angle counterclockwise from the pole, or positive x-axis in the xy plane, this angle here. This is the same angle we find in polar coordinates in two dimensions. And phi is the angle between the positive z-axis and the point, which is this angle here. So going back to our example, let's first find rho using our formula here. So rho squared is equal to x squared plus y squared plus c squared, which would be negative two squared plus negative one squared plus five squared. So we have rho squared is equal to four plus one plus twenty-five. So rho squared is equal to thirty. So now to find rho, we take the square root of both sides of the equation. Algebraically, we'll have two solutions to this equation, where rho is equal to plus or minus the square root of thirty. But we always use a positive value for rho, so our first coordinate is square root thirty. Notice how from the directions, we could find a decimal approximation for the square root of thirty, and then round to one decimal place. But let's go ahead and give the exact value. And now we'll find our angle theta. We need to be careful though, to make sure we find angle theta in the correct quadrant. To make sure we do this, let's plot the point negative two comma negative one in the xy plane. So we'd go left two units and down one unit. Which means our angle theta must terminate along this side here. Now of course there's an infinite number of angles that terminate along this side here, but we are asked to find a positive value for angle theta. Let's find the least positive value for angle theta, which would be this angle here. And tangent theta is equal to y divided by x, so tangent theta is equal to negative one divided by negative two, which equals positive one half. So if tangent theta is equal to positive one half, then theta would be equal to arc tangent or inverse tangent of one half. And now we'll go to the calculator. Let's first make sure we are in radian mode, so we'll press the mode key. Notice radian is highlighted, so we'll go back to the home screen. And now we'll press second tangent for inverse tangent or arc tangent. One divided by two, close parenthesis and enter. Now notice how the calculator is giving us an angle here that terminates in the first quadrant, not in the third quadrant. But we can use this angle to find the angle we're looking for in the third quadrant. So let's go ahead and sketch this angle first, which is approximately 0 0.4636 radians. So the calculator gave us this angle here, which is approximately 0 0.4636 radians. Well, the angle that has the same tangent function value as this angle here in the third quadrant would have the same reference angle. So our angle has a reference angle of 0 0.4636 radians, which means our angle theta is going to be equal to, or approximately equal to, the reference angle of 0 0.4636 plus half a rotation, or plus pi radians. Let's also record this down here. The calculator gave us approximately 0 0.4636, but our angle theta in the third quadrant that has the same tangent function value would be this angle plus pi radians. So let's go ahead and go back to the calculator one more time. And since this angle was our last entry, we can press plus pi. So our angle theta in the third quadrant is approximately 3.6052 radians. And again, following the directions from the question, running to one decimal place, we'd say theta is approximately 3.6 radians. 
And now let's find phi, where cosine phi is equal to z, which is positive five, divided by the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared, which is just rho, which should be the square root of 30. So if cosine phi is equal to five divided by square root 30, then phi is equal to inverse cosine or arc cosine of five divided by square root 30. So now we'll go back to the calculator and we'll enter second cosine five divided by square root 30, right arrow, close parenthesis, and enter. So phi is approximately 0 0.4205 radians. And for our homework winter, approximately 0 0.4 radians. So here are spherical coordinates for the given point in Cartesian coordinates. I hope you found this helpful.